This is a demonstration of the chlorinated alkaline or alkaline series drop count test kit using endpoint ID procedures. Please refer to the appropriate endpoint ID plus instruction sheet while watching this training video. The first step according to the endpoint ID procedure is to gather an accurate sample. The smallest change in sample size will lead to inaccurate results. Before gathering your sample, it's important to rinse the vial three times with the sample to be tested. This minimizes the chance of contamination from a previous titration. To get an accurate sample size, you want to hold the vial close to eye level. Once you feel you have an accurate sample, place the vial on a level surface and bend down to eye level. When performing a drop count titration, a white background can provide contrast to better see the color changes. A cabinet tray or a white paper towel can provide that contrast. Once you have gathered an accurate sample, the next step according to the endpoint ID procedure is to add three drops of phenyl failing indicator. The bottle contains a dropper tip, so it's important to hold the bottle vertically to get a consistent drop size. After the addition of each reagent, swirl the vial to make sure the reagents are properly mixed. In this example, the sample should turn pink. The next step according to the endpoint ID procedure is to perform the titration. You have several choices of titrant strength. Reference the endpoint ID plus instruction sheet or the test factor card to determine the proper titrant normalcy. It's important to make sure you have the proper titrant and the proper sample size for this titration. The bottle contains a dropper tip, therefore it's important to hold the bottle vertically to get a consistent drop size. After the addition of each drop of titrant, swirl the vial to make sure the sample is properly mixed. Count the number of drops during this step. According to the endpoint ID procedure, the titration is complete when the sample has changed from pink to colorless. Multiply the number of drops by the conversion factor to obtain the amount of product.